Well, hello, folks. This is Fat Guy Flies RC out here at the Avon Park here at Modelers Club. We're going to be taking up the FMS Viper 1500 or 1500, 15 year edition. Uh, just to show you, anniversary edition. I'm running a Liperior 3300 with a 40C discharge. Um, I have found that if you move the battery right about here, if you move it over just a little bit to one side, you can tuck the wires down on one side and it just makes for a lot cleaner fit and your hatch doesn't feel like it's being bound all right so let's take it let's take, go out since we still have her on the bench i'm going to run mid rates um which for me are 80 percent over a 30 percent throw over 30 percent expo and that's on the ailerons let me see what i got on my elevator same thing 80 percent with 30 percent expo all right timer set for three and a half minutes up down right left up, right left takeoff flaps got landing flaps and of course we've got uh i need to put a clear coat on this it'll really these colors will really look good with a clear coat but of course you got the gear all right wind is kind of out of the east kind of kind of sort of <laughs> and yes i know you're thinking wait a minute wait a minute where's your camera crew well oh sorry about that well she has to work tonight unfortunately we both work at night and tonight she's working overtime to help some people out with so anyways motor, motor on i'm gonna take it down here That's just a good handling little jet, 70 millimeter. Okay, I'm gonna get behind her. We're gonna take off into the wind. And just so you're aware, I am running Landing flaps, gear down. an AR620 antennaless receiver. So no kind of gyro or anything like that. Doesn't seem to have any kind of need for a mix or uh, landing flaps. Come by kind of slow now. Flaps up. Gear down. Landing flaps. All right. go on the grass but that's okay Flaps up. and my problem is when I got the sun like that um, so I got a minute almost two minutes to go um, with my son being that's my approach I uh, and I'm so cautious about getting too far out there because I hit power lines three times I've hit the power lines actually twice and uh taking out two planes so i don't like going out that far so all right no flaps no takeoff flaps
There we go. Let's see if I can't bring them flaps down just a little bit more. See if I can't bring them flaps down just a touch more. Just see if I can't slow this puppy down just a little bit more. Take them down to a negative 10%. All right, we're gonna put takeoff flaps in this time and just see if she can't get up off the deck a little bit faster. All right. Oh no, I hope I'm, yeah, I was gonna say, please tell me I'm filming. <laughs> I've gotten spoiled with my camera crew. Up. Gear up. Gear down. Landing flaps. Yeah, still going to hit the grass, so. All right, we got a minute. Flaps up. Time remaining, one minute. All right, buddy. You are quite the little s s scrappy guy, aren't you? All right, let's see if she has enough power Use takeoff flaps. See if she can get up off this grass. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Don't like using retracts in the grass, but. All right. Flaps up. Not bad. <laughs> Got some grass trailing on me here. All right. One thing you want to hear before you touch a model. Motor off. Motor off. Let's make sure our gear is still in good shape. Okay. Well, I got grass around it here. That ain't gonna hurt nothing. Hey. They seem to be just fine. Nice and strong. All right, so that's good. Let's uh, see how that battery. Might move that battery back just a touch more. Just to see if I can't, if it won't flare a little bit better and slow her down. I'm gonna take the battery out. But um, just to show you, that's where I've got the battery, the Liperia 3300. Okay. Put my hatch back on there. Okay. Love that suspension gear. All right, I'm going to use my shadow here and uh, check how much we got left. Oh, not bad. We flew for just a hair over three minutes. And I still got 3.84 down to 48%. So, hey, you can't, can't beat that with a stick. So, that's a good looking model, isn't it? Alrighty, that is the FMS Viper 15 year anniversary edition. She's got, she's just, she's exactly the same plane as the E Flight Viper that I had, or I still have. And uh, the only difference is this is a different color scheme. The uh, gear is suspension has suspension on it, so you don't have to do that upgrade. And another interesting thing, um, the these fins on the E Flight one you have to connect them. On this one, they are hard 
hard molded on there so okay well folks thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe god bless y'all and don't forget faith family and friends and then planes bye-bye